Hello and welcome back to Monetized History. Today, I'm going to talk about the Crimean Peninsula and the venerable city Sevastopol. In early 2014, following the ouster of a Russia-backed prime minister in Ukraine, Russian forces invaded the Autonomous Republic of Crimea and the adjoining city of Sevastopol, quickly incorporating them into their territory. In December of 2015, Russia issued a 100-ruble commemorative banknote celebrating the return of Crimea and Sevastopol to Russian control. As of 2021, 100 rubles is worth about $1.30, and this note can be bought on eBay for between $1 and $5. The obverse of the note is dedicated to the city of Sevastopol. Microprinting of the city's name is printed in Cyrillic towards the bottom of the note. The primary image on the obverse is the monument to flooded ships built in 1905 and designed by Estonian artist Amandus Adamson. During the siege of Sevastopol, in the midst of the Crimean War, the Russian Empire scuttled their ships to prevent the alliance of English, French, Italian, and Ottoman forces from accessing the harbor. Today, the monument is a symbol of Sevastopol, appearing on the municipal flag and coat of arms, the same coat of arms that appear in the denomination towards the top of the note. Behind the monument is a painting by Russian-Armenian painter Ivan Ivazovsky showing the Black Sea Fleet on Sevastopol Bay 10 years before the Crimean War. Below this are drawings of Sevastopolitan landmarks overlaid on a map of the area. Notable among the landmarks are the Kersenese Lighthouse at the entrance of Sevastopol Bay and St. Vladimir's Cathedral, which is also a memorial to the siege of Sevastopol. At the bottom of the obverse is a representation of the memorial to the siege of Sevastopol, honoring the 1941 to 1942 defense of the city against the Germans. The figure can be seen defending two bayonet thrusts while a third slips past his guard, representing the three German attacks that eventually broke the city's defenses. Within the denomination at the bottom of the note are ruble symbols, a latent image of which can be seen next to it. The Cyrillic at the bottom reads Sto Rubli and means 100 rubles. To the right of this is a tactile feature for the blind, indicating the note's denomination. A metallic security thread with iridescent 100s runs through the note as well. The reverse of the note is dedicated to the Crimean Peninsula. Microprinting of the peninsula's name in Cyrillic can be seen hidden on the banknote in various places. The primary image on the reverse is of the Swallow's Nest Castle, designed by Russian architect Leonid Sherwood and built in 1912. It's on the southern coast of the peninsula and is one of Crimea's most popular tourist attractions. In the background is Sail Rock, which is located in the water below Swallow's Nest. Below that is a depiction of the Big Khan Mosque at Bakhchisarai Palace, built in 1532 by the Khan of Crimea, Sahib I Jirai. At the bottom of the reverse is the Yevpatoria RT-70 radio telescope, built in 1978. At 70 meters, it's one of the largest radio telescopes in the world. It participated in the Soviet Venera program in the 80s, which sent back photos of the surface of Venus. More recently, it's been involved with sending signals to other stars. To the right of the telescope is a QR code that links to the Central Bank of Russia website for the banknote. When the reverse is illuminated with ultraviolet light, a grape cluster becomes visible. Winemaking has traditionally been a popular industry in the Crimean Peninsula. When the banknote is illuminated from behind, a watermark of Catherine the Great becomes visible. It's based on a 1762 portrait by Danish artist Virgilius Eriksson. It was during her rule when Crimea first fell under Russian control. And now, for the trivia. Are you ready? What was the Crimean Peninsula known as before the modern era? If you think you know, tell me in the comments and I'll reveal the answer tomorrow. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Do you have any Russian notes in your collection? If so, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.